For instance, the force of falling water at a dam, or the force of rushing steam at a power plant, will turn a large magnet rapidly through a great coil of wire in a generator. This movement of the magnet produces an electromagnetic force in the coil, and a current of electricity flows through the wire. So movement and magnetism produce electricity in a generator, while electricity and magnetism produce motion in a motor. Most electric motors depend on current produced by generators, and generators are responsible for the vast quantities of electrical energy that our technological world depends on. Generators that supply most of our residential needs produce alternating current, like this. Two slip rings are mounted on the axle on which the coil rotates. The slip rings make contact with two brushes, carbon or copper. These brushes connect the slip rings to an external circuit. As the coil rotates through the magnetic field, one half moves upward while the other half moves downward. This produces a current in one direction through the external circuit. As the coil continues rotating, the half that moved upward is now moving downward, and the other half has also reversed its direction. This change of direction changes the flow of current. It reverses. This constant reversal results in alternating current. Generators can also be made to produce direct current, or DC, by replacing the slip rings with a commutator, like the one used in a motor. The commutator and brushes reverse the current flow just as it is being reversed in the coil. As a result, the current in the external circuit always flows in one direction, even though the current in the coil is alternating. <laughs> 